an ardent long-time champion of equitability in society and integrity in Indian public life. He has a long-standing as a keen parliamentarian and has served in various parliamentary committees. Thank you, sir. That's okay. Thank you. Governor of Rajasthan, Sri Kalraj Mishraji, Chief Minister of Rajasthan, Sri Ashok Gehlojji, Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Harsh Bardhanji, Union Minister for Jal Shakti, Sri Gajan Singh Sekhavaji, Director Ames Jodhpur, Dr. Sanjeev Misraji, President Professor Sharmaji, students, faculty and other staff members, proud parents of graduating students, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to be among you in this land of Belar, that is Rajasthan. Today's occasion, the convocation ceremony marks the completion of one stage of life for students and the beginning of another. I congratulate all graduates and postgraduates on their achievement. It is certainly a proud moment, not only for you, but also for your parents who have helped you reach this stage. I am sure you are as much grateful to your parents as towards the teachers and society at large that made it possible for you to learn here. At a place like this, two most important areas of development come together. One is health and another is education. Our nation has made great strides in many spheres, including health care. But we need to do more to ensure that quality health care and education is accessible to all citizens, especially those living in the rural areas and remote parts of the country. The aims in Delhi, as you all know, has been the preferred destination for people from far away places for expert care, to take reliable health care available in more regions the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, established new aims under the Pradhan Mantri Swastha Suraksha Yojana, and this institute here at Jodhpur is one of them. And I take uh, on the face value of the statement which was made by a Union Health Minister when he said Jodhpur aims is next to Delhi aims. Ladies and gentlemen, Ames Jodhpur was set up with the mission to provide to people of this region health care facilities and medical education at par with the best of the nation. I am pleased to know that in a short span of seven years, it has excelled in the field of medical education and become a top choice of the students after Ames Delhi. This shows the hard work being done by the faculty and the students. I am sure you will continue to strive to take this institution to greater heights. I learned that AIMS Jodhpur is also fulfilling its role as a state of art research center. It is heartening to know that the institute not only supports research through its intramural grants, but also has funding from both international and national agencies. The establishment of various specialized centers and labs shows the commitment of the institution towards strengthening research. At the same time, the institute is also working on the local health care matters of this region. There is also a need to develop low-cost diagnostic, treatment and rehabilitative services. I am told that this institute is setting up an innovation center for medical technology along with IIT Jodhpur. The two are also collaborating for an AIMS IIT knowledge innovation cluster. This is a welcome step as this will boost the medical technology sector in the country. It is important that India starts making its own equipment 
that not only serves to provide affordable health care but also sets up India as a medical technology hub as part of the Make in India initiative. Only a few cities in the country are blessed with an AIMS as well as an IIT. And this great city of Jodhpur is among them. I urge these institutes here to continue working together for betterment of people in this area and the country. The AIMS Jodhpur also strives to improve the health of tribal people in this part of Rajasthan with the help of the Ministry of Tribal Affairs and the state government. This endeavor is also a part of Unnat Bharat Avyan. Such worthy initiatives are expected from institutions like AIMS. They not only have to provide therapeutic services, but also need to give preventive care for betterment of society. As an institute of national importance, AIMS Jodhpur has a critical role in implementing the health programs of the government and train manpower in this region. Ladies and gentlemen, the institutions like AIMS are being developed to provide terrier care to the poorest of the poor. It is heartening to know that AIMS Jodhpur has provided consultation to over 24 lakh patients till date. Its database will help address the health concerns of the region and also in formulating health policies. The institute has also started robotic surgery to provide ultra-modern surgical care at affordable costs. As we all know, India is known as the land of Charak and Susut. The research community around the world is taking note of India's traditional systems of medicine. The government has also focused on extending the reach of Ayurveda yoga and naturopathy, yunani, siddha, as well as homeopathy, which is known together as Ayus. I am happy to learn that AIMS Jodhpur has started providing Ayus services too. It can now complement this move by taking up research in these systems. That will bring together both traditional and modern care under one roof. जन टीवी की लेटेस्ट अपडेट पाने के लिए हमारे चैनल को जरूर सब्सक्राइब करें और नोटिफिकेशन पाने के लिए बेल आइकॉन दबाएं।